second day for our miracle mission at FANDEF 2019. Today is a day of the delegations and the chief of staff of the different forces of the Spanish army are just crisscrossing the exhibition. Many competitors for big markets to come for the Spanish forces, but we even found an exhibitor who didn't want to have any kind of publicity because he says, so far I have no competitor and I don't want to have competitors, so don't speak about my products please. Funny isn't it? I'm Martin Pratt. I'm director of this program, the Pizarro program here in Spain. Today we are presenting the, the latest ASCOT version of this uh, for this contract, which is the Pizarro uh, engineer vehicle, combat engineer vehicle. It has been uh, designed and manufactured for the Spanish army by Spanish people here in Santa Barbara. Today we are showing you an improved vehicle with a, a mine protection and ballistic protection at the highest levels. Here we can show you the combat engineer vehicle, which has different tools to serve to for the uh, role for the engineers. Here you can see the mine roller, but this vehicle is multi-purpose, so it can handle different tools like a dozer blade and mine roller too. In fact, you can see here in the front uh, the winch, which can be used to uh, self-rescue uh, or assist other vehicles. And then on the rear, we, uh, we have a routing market system which will lead the rest of the vehicles, the bridge or the terrain, cleared by this one. It has a crew of three people and nine other uh, people inside to serve as engineers. Okay, this vehicle is not just a pro prototype, but uh, already in production, which will be tested during next month. And next year, and, and 20, uh, on 21, we will deliver last units, a total amount of 35 units. This vehicle shows us the latest technology, the state of the art of our product. We are showing uh, another variants for the clients, so it can be the future of the vehicles, not only for Spain, but on the clients. Good morning, this is David Ayala, Managing Director of AINSA. Spanish company which is uh, celebrating this year the 14th anniversary of the foundation of the company. Well, as you will see here, we have different equipment, uh, all of them uh, dedicated to the defense forces, to support the defense forces. Here I have what we call Neton. Neton is a vehicle which has been specially designed for special operations. The salient characteristics of uh, Neton is it's a very high speed vehicle, can uh, go as fast as 170 km per hour, fully load at 1.2 tons with munitions, with a uh, logistic uh, load or whatever they need. In other configurations we can also transport up to 11 soldiers fully equipped ready for combat. This vehicle has been tested by the special, uh, special Forces, Spanish Special Forces, very successfully. They are very happy with the performance of the equipment. This vehicle, in, this, in that configuration, is equipped with a 360 degrees turret, which can be equipped with different uh, gun machines, uh, heavy gun machines, different uh, anti-tank uh, missile stations, uh, different weapons. The vehicle is, equi is equipped with a, with a Toyota engine. We have modified the electronics of the vehicle to obtain a power, maximum power in peak up to 249 horsepower. It is also equipped with an infrared camera, so you can also uh, drive it uh, at night, in night condition. And you can, in this vehicle has been also painted with a special ceramic uh, paint, which provides uh, the vehicle with a very low infrared signature. Here we are with a weapon loader called BAP-40. BAP-40 has been selected by Lockheed Martin as the weapon loader for the export campaigns of the F-35. The beauty of this, uh, this weapon loader is, uh, which is, uh, is that it's, it is certified according with ATICS direct directive, which means that it can be used in a special uh, explosive atmosphere. So once you have put fuel or defuel a combat aircraft, you have kerosene vapors all around, so it's an explosive atmosphere. And you have to protect everything here to allow the equipment be operated, being operated uh, in this uh, kind of environment. Here, what you see is the meteor. This uh, weapon loader has also been used as the um, uh, harmonized solution for the loading of meteor in the Eurofighter program, and it will be as well in the F-35 program. 
and what you hear here is brimstone. Brimstone is also an uh, air-to-ground uh, bomb which can be loaded with, uh, with uh, this uh, weapon loader. This weapon loader is diesel, it's powered by a diesel engine, but we also have an electric version powered by a battery pack, lithium, uh, ion lithium battery pack, and uh, has in this head has all the uh, movements you need to precisely load the bomb or the uh, missile in this, uh, in this case uh, on the aircraft. This boat is an unmanned uh, vehicle, so uh, the, the main application that this has is in order that to, to make all the types of surveillance uh, tasks and order to defend the border lines in the countries and also in order uh, to avoid that uh, we need to, to use the, the persons in, in our risk areas. It's possible to work without nobody inside, it's an unmanned vehicles, and you can work from any part of the world in order to manage them. We have got one, one unit already available in the northwest of Spain working for rescue people at sea. So uh, this application is a bit different, it's a civil application that we have got at David and it's possible to take somebody from the, the sea in case that there is an accident or another, another thing. And this is already working on the, on the northwest Spain area. We are here uh, because really one of the best or, or one of the more demanded uh, applications is, is for the Navy. Because, okay, obviously uh, all the things that is looking for all the navies at the wall is normally to avoid damage for the soldiers. So to have an unmanaged vehicle, this uh, allows to make uh, rigs, maneuvers in uh, rich areas and not to put in, in, in risk the, the people that are on board the, the vehicle. This is the charity. This is a, a bit uh, uh, incredible, I think, because it's 52 knots. That is the maximum speed that they reach. It's 1,000 miles. It's the autonomy that they have. It's four and a half tons. Is the weight. 12 meters is the the length. So it's really uh, important equipment because for this kind of application that you need to put a gun uh, in in the top of the of the boat, you cannot use any type of boat. You need to, to put a, a boat that it was able uh, to support this kind of guns. The guns is made by Scribano, that is the company that, uh, that uh, supplied all these guns and the uh, uh, surveillance systems. And we work together with Scribano in order uh, to sell this product around the world. My name is Tania Martinez, I'm Head of Communication at Star Defense Logistics and Engineering. Well, SDLE is 10 years old and we are already working in 25 countries. Aeronautica SDLE is the drone division of the group and we are here in FEINDEF presenting our last articles, our last products. This UAS is a drone for uh, surveillance, intelligence and recognition. It has been developed uh, with the Galician Technological Institute. It has been a project for two years. This is the result. It's a drone with uh, more than eight hours endurance. This is the anti-drone safety gun, uh, completely manufactured by Aeronautica SDLE. Its capacity is for um, a limitless number of drones and it has 2,000 uh, runs. We have tested with the um, Ministry of Defense uh, in Spain, and it also is working with uh, several departments uh, in the Spanish police. This is the Tira V1 K18 model. Uh, this one uh, belongs to the Santa Cruz of Tenerife. It has uh, a 40 minute uh, autonomy and uh, as you can see uh, here, uh, a 20 kilometers uh, range and uh, a super complete uh, camera and uh, HD gimbal with uh, electro-optical and um, infrared uh, camera. This is SDLE simulator for drones, I mean using virtual reality. We've got 
to test it for you, of course, and it's really amazing. This one is our smallest drone. It has 15 minutes autonomy and uh, police can uh, use it to enter in any building before enter them. So uh, they will be safer because they will know what is inside the building before they enter in. My name is uh, Tomás González López. I'm a staff sergeant from the Spanish Legion. We work with the platform from IAI Robotics. It's an Israeli enterprise who uh, usually do autonomous mechanism devices like that. It's a platform provided to uh, two ways to control by uh, command control and wire control. We use that for carry on the equipment, water, ammunition, very useful for the army. We test that in Almeria, in the desert of Almeria, Tabernas. It's uh, similar to Afghanistan, Iraq, the condition uh, are very dry and very similar. And it's controlled by four electrical engines and charged by a diesel generator to uh, recharge the batteries. More or less uh, in electrical mode, three hours working, you can put a weapon, you can put uh, charge, uh, munition, water, equipment, 